The next caller is Marie from Warner Robins. Hi, Marie. Marie? Yes. Go ahead with your question. Oh, okay. Um, my question is, um, I went under um, a surgery um, in Macon, and this was about five months ago, and five hours after the surgery, I developed a blood clot. You developed a blood clot? Yes. Okay. And when I developed a blood clot, um, my blood pressure dropped to 40 to 32. Okay. And um, I remember that they said I went into cardiac arrest, and they paged the doctor that did the surgery, but he did not return the pay. Okay. So another doctor had to come in an emergency, and he, I have to have an emergency surgery. But he had to open me one more time again. Okay. And uh, when the doctor that did the first surgery came the next morning, um, I just asked him what happened because I almost lost my life, and he told me that I was just too fat. Well, ha have you developed other complications, Marie? Oh, God, yes. Okay. Well, what did the second doctor tell you? Or the... the second doctor or the first doctor? You said the, the first doctor came in after the second doctor had, had operated on you to repair repair the mm -hmm. blood clot. Yeah, well, the, the second doctor, he said they don't operate blood clot, they did suction. So he has to open me back again and suction the blood clot because I was, I was dying. Right. And, uh, I had a 750 centimeter of blood on my right lung. And the doctor that did the surgery, the first surgery, when I was able to talk, I just was trying to ask him. I received about seven pints of blood. I asked him what happened. And he told me, well, look at you. You're just too fat. Too fat? I thought that's what you said. Mm. Okay. And I just, and since then, I just, it's been, it's been a mess. I mean, it's been, it's been bad. Okay. I'm sure it has, and I'm okay. sorry you've been through what you've been through. But let me, let me tell you this: mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times, you get a, a really bad result. That does not mean that it's medical negligence. Most of the time, it's not. I mean, we actually are blessed in Macon with some very, very fine, competent, skilled physicians and surgeons. But, but things do happen that are unmixed with anybody's negligence or fault. Now, that's not to say you don't have a case, but again, in a, in a situation where it's an interoperative event uh, such as you had, you would need to have to have all the records reviewed by a physician. Mm -hmm. So the first step is to call a lawyer, explain what happened, and ask for an appointment. Then that lawyer and his staff would determine whether or not uh, your case would warrant ordering out the medical records to determine whether or not you have a cause of action. So again, it's, it turns around a medical question more than a legal question. And as Wendell said, always remember you, you have only two years to, to act on it. And we have people come in the a month or two before the statute right. with good cases. Mm -hmm. it, 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 you really, you have two years is a cutoff. Yeah. And there are provisions that allow a lawyer to file an affidavit for a client to extend the statute, but most lawyers will not do that okay. uh, simply because it ties them to the case and, and, and then it's hard to disentangle yourself from that case. Uh, our rule of thumb is if, if we don't have something at least three or four months before the statute, mm -hmm. we simply can't look at it. It's, it's just very difficult to order out the records right. that are needed and required legally to right. file the med, med mm -hmm. mal case. Now okay. will be the time to act, because I think she said right. it five months ago. I'm yeah. sure we lost Maria. Yeah, don't okay. wait. Yeah. All right. Thanks for your call, Maria. The legal information supplied in this broadcast is general information only and is not intended to be legal advice for any given situation. Do not rely on broadcast information without consulting an attorney. Contingent attorney's fees refers only to those fees charged by the attorneys for legal services. Such fees are not permitted in all types of cases. 
Court costs and other additional expenses of legal action usually must be paid by the client.